Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another six scale figure review with me, your host, That Metromania. And today we have a figure that I never thought would ever even go up for pre order after they showed it off. And for years, we sat there um, and nothing was coming of it. And then all of a sudden, bam, out of the blue, Obi Wan in Clone Wars armor. This is something I've been excited for for God knows how long. And I cannot, cannot wait to pop this guy with Anakin on the shelf as soon as I'm done review, uh, recording this review. But first, we have to get through this. So strap in, because I'm going to be talking about Obi-Wan Kenobi. So here's the box. Um, nice normal Star Wars box, you know, picture of the figure, uh, edited lightsaber, Star Wars, generic Star Wars box, not much really to talk about. Flip it around, you just got a bunch of words picture of him picture of him the whole 10 yards i just want to get this guy out of the box and talk about him so let's do that oh my god can i just say how much more i like jedi with capes the robe is cool but i think capes work really well and um i think what what really does it for me is because lego star wars all the jedi had capes so i got used to it even though jedi don't wear capes i don't know what it is but Jedi with capes, this guy and Anakin looks so much better. I don't know what it is. I think the cape just adds to the look um, so much more. But this guy looks great. The head sculpt is okay, but the rest of it is fantastic. I know a lot of it is, you know, clone armor. That's that's the gimmick. That was the thing they did. They wore clone armor during the Clone Wars because they were safer. Get over it. Um but I'm super happy with it. I do want to talk about some problems with the head sculpt and issues I have with actually posable eyes in general. But uh, let's get him off the spinning turntable of uh, the dark side here and talk about a few of those things after accessories, of course. So Obi-Wan does come with a few accessories. He comes with two versions of his lightsaber one regular version which does look nice i love the way obi-wan's lightsaber looks it is a crisp sexy design and he's got one with a wire just in case the government wants to listen in or in case you wanted to plug it in and have um your usb blue which speaking of blue he's got his normal swishing in his normal regular one and those are cool he also has um, if I can get it out here, he's got a little hologram of a very, uh, unhappy Anakin with his arms crossed, probably talking about his most recent shenanigans. This one does have the cape on it, and it is the Clone Wars armor. Baller, dude. The addition of the cape, baller. And, um, last but not least, in an accessory I didn't realize, um, was just magnetic, we have this extra clone helmet which just like most phase one clone helmets is too big but i didn't realize this piece came off so now i technically have a phase one white clone helmet that's only accessible to this obi-wan because of the way the neck port works however this piece goes on theoretically if you're really really bold you could turn this into a phase one commander cody which actually would be really funny if you took the helmet that came with Obi-Wan and made it to a Cody, since, you know, they're boys. And then he has the cape, as previously mentioned, which, unlike the Anakin one, which was connected to the wire, has magnets in it, as you can see here. And then you just put it over and pop it on. I actually prefer the way the Anakin one is, because I feel like I'm just going to keep knocking this off on accident, because the magnets aren't that strong. But I mean, as long as you're not playing around with him and going, "Yo, yes, Anakin, we need to, we need to get out of here," and you know, flipping him around, and then the cape would probably never get fly off. You can't treat this guy like you treat your Legos. You got to treat him like a Black Series figure and slam it against the wall as hard as possible. So let's talk about the sculpt here. I'm not a huge fan of the fact that he looks like he's kind of like sucking in a breath, like his mouth is slightly open. It looks a little weird. Um, the hair also looks a little odd. The hairline, I should say. The hair color is really good. 
in the uh, they get the the things on his head, but I just don't like the fact that he looks like he's sucking in a breath. I don't know why his mouth is slightly open like that. You can see even a little bit of teeth there. I don't know what it is. He kind of looks like one of those like old guys whose lips are pressed up and like really high up in the air. Like, I'm... yeah, I just don't get it. Also, my problem with posable eyes. So, somebody like Anakin per se, right? His eyes aren't posable, but there's a lot more expression. He looks a little bit angrier. Um, Hot Toy's problem with posable eyes is that they really want you to see that the eyes are posable by having the eyes as open as physically possible. And I just feel like his eyes are way too open, so he looks bug-eyed at all times. And it's not really working for me. And also, the way that the, the head connects on this, this is a risk already, this little peg, it goes into here, just like with the helmet. But if you put it on wrong, it's just going to immediately do this and knock the eyes out of place. So you're spending most of your time just fixing his eyes or else he's going to look like that. I just, I get that it's the future. But I don't really like how Hot Toys has handled it so far. In Art's, um, in Art's Joker eyes, at least in my in my case, I prefer a lot better because it's not really hindering. I know you can't do that with every single figure, but I just I feel like I'm not getting the most out of this something like this because I'm getting stuff like this. I struggled with the I struggled with the Padme. I struggled with the the Tom Holland Spider Man. I just can't. Because the thing doesn't want to go where it needs to go. And it's just, it's hindering something that could be really good. And again, the eyes are just open too wide. Who was it? Shuri? Her eye, oh no, it wasn't Shuri. It was Tom, by Tom Holland Spider-Man. His eye just popped out for no reason as well. So I really don't know what it is. Like the connector piece just hits the eyes. And I'm complaining a lot, I know. But these are things that should be solved by now. Because they've been doing it for a while. And I just feel like it's just, it's not. It's do the same problem every single time. You put it in and it just, the eyes flip around and do whatever. As long as you put it the exact same spot and it works the first time, which it never will. So I'm spending most of my time fixing the stupid eyes on something I didn't want to move anyway. Anyway, the armor looks great. I love the weathering on it. It's really well done. It looks exactly like Clone Wars Obi-Wan. I feel like he's a little wide, though. Obi-Wan's kind of like a slimmer, slim, slimmer guy. But it does look really nice. I feel like this is a little too open. But it's all right. The shoulder armor looks really good. It's asymmetrical. You got the Jedi logo on one side and the regular on the other. Armor looks super cool. Normal Jedi belt. Uh, you know, the sash with the stuff around it. He's got all his fun pouches all the good stuff a jedi needs to survive he's got his little elbow whatever is this is very similar to how the mace windu the previous mace windu's armors on the arm are he's got his little oops skirt here which for some reason i thought had two pieces but i guess it is just one it feels a little odd because you know the normal jedi is like two pieces here so it kind of threw me through a loop. I guess I haven't been paying much attention to Clone Wars Obi-Wan, despite playing him a lot in Battlefront 2 when he came out. But it does look really, really nice, and it holds together really nicely. He's got more clone armor down here, which just leads to his clone shoesies. So I'm super happy. I'd love to get a Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan in the collection. If Hot Toys would love to do a, pa a Padawan Obi-Wan or... or, or um. In Attack of the Clones, Obi-Wan, they had their opportunity. Don't know why they didn't do it. I'd love to buy more. I do have the Kenobi one whenever that decides to drop. So I'm super excited about that. I'm hoping the sculpt isn't sucking in air like this one. But for now, let's bring out the... Uh, let's do Clone Wars first, and then we'll do Jedi. Have you ever seen a sight so beautiful? It's... Uh, I wish... I say I wish Ahsoka had a clone battalion, but she did. She didn't really have a leader that wasn't just Rex, though. So it doesn't matter, because Rex and Ahsoka and Anakin and Rex and Ahsoka and Obi-Wan and Cody. And it just all comes together so beautifully. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Look how good they look together. 
And I will be sticking with this Anakin. I don't think I'll be getting the Ahsoka version because I just don't really like the um, the expression on the sculpt. I don't think it works with how Anakin was during the Clone Wars. And I'm happy with this one. I don't really think I need to upgrade. And I don't want more posable eyeballs, especially. Because look at this Anakin. He's got a nice angry expression. This Obi-Wan just looks like a goofball. I was working on the eyes and he still looks like an idiot. Anyway, speaking of um idiots... Why don't we bring out the Jedi Council? What a segue. Not the Jedi Council. Let's bring out the Jedi. So here's pretty much all of my Jedi in my collection. Bar um, one, who I will bring out in another second here. Just for a little one-on-one -on -one action. Who I've done pretty much a review of every single one of these. Every single one of these. Except for the Anakin. Plo Koon being my first ever Star Wars uh, six scale figure review. And now we're here. So that's what? Six Jedi in a year? That's awesome. And uh, another Kit Fisto on the way. Uh, hopefully, you know, more Jedi down the line. We're doing pretty good Jedi wise. I'm happy with the way things have been turning out. Uh, obviously the sideshow ones are a little old and are a little outdated. The Kyoto Mid is pretty good. Uh, Plo Koon, his head is a little loose because I was trying to take it off to put it on a different body. It's not budging so far. But we're getting somewhere at least. And Kid Fisto is obviously getting a much needed update from Hot Toys with a Clone Wars appearance as well. Just like Mace Windu back there. So I'm pretty happy overall. What do you think Yoda? Who's as short as the day is long. <laughs> so yes, there is my... There is my Jedi. Except... The most important of them all. An apprentice is only an extension of his master's training. And there is no true better master than that of Qui-Gon Jinn. One of, probably one of the most important characters... In Star Wars without really being the most important characters in Star Wars. Since he is pretty much the guy who kicks off the entirety of the Skywalker saga. With his um, with his different views from the Jedi. To, you know, in taking in Anakin. And all of the things he did. Which pretty much, like I said, kicked off the entirety of the Skywalker saga. And is one of the better Jedi out there. Um, I think Qui-Gon is probably one of the best Jedi of the prequel era, uh, especially now. You know, he's mentored Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan is good, but Qui-Gon defied the Order in a way different than Count Dooku. He didn't defy the Order. He questioned the teachings of it. And I think that's what's important because the Jedi were so, were so uh, content in their ways and were so narrow-minded and focused on what they were doing they never really stopped to question themselves and i think that's what qui-gon did perfectly is he questioned the jedi and everything they were doing and it's a shame he didn't get to see what happened with everything after his sacrifice because he is a fantastic character and i wish we could have seen more of him um but i'm super happy to have these two together finally after all of this time of waiting qui-gon being my first ever hot toys for year Anyway, let's move on to uh, Ubi Doo articulation. Life ending 360 degrees. Up that far. Down that far. A little back and forth. So you're going to get some pretty decent range of motion with the arms because it is a nice fabric suit underneath, similar to clones. Up that far. Back that far. It's pretty much the shoulder pad holding you back. And just the shoulder in general with this armor. Decent crunch. Back crunch. Spread. So the fabric suit is limited because of the padding underneath it. It's not too bad. And it goes up that far. And it goes back to zero. Some pretty good articulation at the knee. And split cut here. So you do get some good range of motion there. So you get him into some pretty decent Jedi action poses. Um, I did, uh, once again, forget an accessory. Uh, it's not the first time I've done this. 
because I actually don't know where it is. It's like gone. Oh, here it is. Hey guys, Obi-Wan also comes with a pair of Binox. They are a standard issue. Fun fact. But yeah, um, Obi-Wan here can do some pretty cool Jedi things. Um, but can he do those pretty cool Jedi things to wrap up the video? I'm not really a huge fan of Obi-Wan and the helmet. Uh, I get, you know, Sideshow did it with their mythos, and it looks all right. It looks kind of silly to me. He does it, what, he does it when he's on the speeder bike in the 2003 Clone Wars series. That's cool. I'm not a huge fan of it. And I did go with this pose because his chest armor does sprawl out a little bit um, when you pose it, so there's some flexibility there. But because the magnets are in the chest armor, if you sprawl it at, at all, the magnet on the cape no longer works. So that problem I was having with the magnet and saying that I don't feel very comfortable with it compared to the it attached to the armor is, is front and center here completely. But it's not a deal breaker, you know? It's Clone Wars Obi-Wan, dude. Fucking move on. <laughs> it's awesome. I, Bespin Luke and Clone Wars Obi-Wan were two things I thought we'd never get. And here we are. Um, and I'm all for it. I would 100%, if you haven't picked this guy up already, go for it. The Mandalorian uh, disguise Obi-Wan? No, absolutely not. That's a, I mean, if you're into that, sure. I actually made a joke about making that, and then they made it, and I was like, oh my god, here we go. It feels like a cop-out. This feels real. This feels, I feel the love. It's like it was made for me. Because I love Obi-Wan, man. I freaking love Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan. Qui-Gon. This is my guy right here. I'm a 212th guy. Obi-Wan and the 212th are my thing. You guys can all have Anakin and the 501st all day long, dude. 212 are my boys. And it's a shame they don't get enough love because I love them. So anyway, I'm happy with this guy and I hope you pick it up because it's a pretty good one. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. Because if you don't, Obi-Wan's going to be, like, really sad, dude. He's going to go into, like, a deep depression. Probably in, like, a sand hut for, like, five, maybe ten years. It's just, it's it's going to be completely your fault, too, if you don't like, subscribe, comment, uh, ring that little bell thing. You got to do all the things or else Obi-Wan's going to, he's not going to, he's not going to make it, man. I already did, so I'm good. It's not going to be my fault. It's going to be your guys' fault. And, as always, if you enjoyed the video, I already said that part. And, as always, I've been me, and you've been you. And thank you for watching another six-scale figure review. Hopefully you join me next time we review something maybe new. I will see you then.